Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn about read-only class and write-only class in Java that can be achieved through encapsulation. So, in the previous video, we have learned the basic concept about the encapsulation. So, what is the meaning of encapsulation and what are the advantages of encapsulation? So, the practical implementation of encapsulation can be done by making the variables as private or protected, and to access or set the values of these private variables. You need to make use of getter and setter methods. So do watch the previous video before watching this particular video. Now let's start with the read-only class. So if you want to create, so if you want to create a read-only class, so in that case you just want to access the data from the class, right? So you want to only read that class. You cannot set the values inside the class. So here in the class demo, I have a variable of type integer. Which is private, and here I have a getter method and setter method. So we know how to get the getters and setter methods. So if I remove this getter and setter method here, so what you need to do, you need to let's declare one more variable here. Let's say private string string name, and let's say name is code crush. Okay, and let's have your roll number. Let's say five. Now these are my two private variables. Now here, what I will do, I will create the getter and setter methods for these two variables. Now here I need to right click, then I need to select the source. Inside the source, I need to click on generate getter and setters. So once I click on generate getter and setters, so two variables are there in my code, name and roll number. So I need to select for which I want to generate the Method. So I need to generate for both the variables. So I will select both and then click on OK. So see here, getter and setters are generated here. So this is my first method, which is get roll number, which will return the roll number value. Then set roll number. This will take one argument roll number and this will set the value of this argument roll number to an instance variable roll number here because this is used to refer the current instance. And in similar way, we have get name and set name. So we want to create a read-only class, right? So in in that case, you don't need this setter methods. So I will remove this setter method here. Let's remove the setter also from here. Now I have only the get method. So from any class, you can just read this particular demo class private variable values. So what I will do? First save this code, and inside this test class, you need to create the object of demo class. So I have already created the object here. So with the help of object, you need to say sysout, and inside this, you need to say obj dot get name, and in the same way, you can get obj dot get roll number. So these are my two methods or two get methods inside the demo class. Now if I try to run this test class, so see I'm able to get the values here: code crush and five. Because there are only getter methods, no set method inside this class, so this is a read-only class. And what if I try to say here set method? If I try to call the set method here obj dot set, so there is no method called as set name or set roll number inside this demo class, right? So we are not able to access that method. So in this way, you can create a read-only class. As we have a read-only class, you can also create a write-only class. So as the name suggests. In write-only class, you can write or change the value of a variable. You can't get the value of private variable. You just need to set the value of variable. So how to do this? So inside the class, you will have only a set value. Okay. So here you need to provide the set value for these variables. So instead of get now, we will have a set value. So let's generate a set as here. You need to say source inside the source. You need to say generate getters and setters. Let's select both. Then click on OK. Now let's remove the get methods here. So I will remove the get method from here and get method from here. So we have set roll number and set name. Now from the another class, you cannot call the get methods because we don't have a get method now in the demo class, right? So it is only a 
write only class so you can only provide the values here so instead of this i can now call the setter methods so i will say here obj dot set so let's say set name so you can set the name here let's say abc so in this way you can set the name and another one is obj dot set roll number so you can provide your roll number value as 12 because it is of integer type so in this way you can achieve the write only class and read only class in java so this is the practical implementations of encapsulation where you can provide the basic details about the encapsulation so how to provide the control over data that we have seen in the previous video and another application is read only class and write only class so to summarize this video what we have learned in this video is why we need encapsulation so encapsulation is used for better control of class attributes and methods so class attributes can be made read only as we have seen we have made one class as read only and also write only also it is flexible that programmer can change one part of the code without affecting the other parts and you can provide the control over data so it increases the security of your data so that's it in this video we will cover another interview questions in next video thank you for watching Thank you.